This is part 64 of ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss log level configuration in ASP.NET Core with examples. Log level indicates the severity of the logged message. It can be any of the following trace, debug information, warning, etc. These options are listed here from the lowest to highest severity. To take a look at the log level enum and all of its options, let's flip over to Visual Studio. At the moment, I am in the home controller. Let's type log level here. Log level is in Microsoft.extensions.logging namespace. So let's bring that in. And now, if I right click on this and then go to definition, Notice we see the same values here that we see on the slide starting with trace with a value of 0 all the way till none with a value of 6. One place where we use this enum value as a setting is in app settings.json file. Notice at the moment for both the categories default and Microsoft we have set log level to warning. For now for this default category let's change the log level to trace. Next. Let's inject the built-in iLogger service provided by ASP.NET Core into our home controller using constructor injection. Let's call the parameter logger and let's also generate the corresponding field by pressing control period. We don't need this log level enum here in the constructor so let's get rid of that. And then in the details action method let's comment this line that is throwing an exception. These are the log level enum options starting from trace all the way till none. Now from our application if we want to log a trace message then on the iLogger service that we have injected into our home controller we have log trace method. Similarly to log a debug message we have log debug method for information, log information, log warning, log error etc. So the point that I'm trying to make is for every log level option that we have here we have a corresponding log method on the iLogger service with the exception of this last option none. On this iLogger service instance if we type dot and then log Notice I see methods like log critical, debug, error, etc. For example, if I want to log a trace message, I could use log trace. Similarly, to log a debug message, we use log debug method. In the interest of time, let me paste four more lines of code. Notice to log an information message, we are using log information method. For warning, we are using log warning. So at the moment, we are logging messages from the lowest severity, that is trace, to the highest severity critical using the corresponding log methods that we have available on the iLogger service instance. So with all these changes, let's run our project in debug mode and see the log output that we get. Notice we see our custom error view instead of the list of employees. This means there was an error processing our request on the server. So if we take a look at the debug output window in Visual Studio, we have an error logged by our error controller. There is an exception and the exception type is invalid operation exception and if we look at the exception message unable to resolve service for type microsoft.extensions.logging.ilogger while attempting to activate our home controller. So basically within our home controller we are injecting ilogger service but we forgot to specify the generic argument. So we are logging from home controller. So let's specify the home controller as the argument for the generic parameter of our iLogger service. And then run the project again in debug mode. There we go. We now have the list of employees as expected. At the moment, we have the log statements in the details action method of our home controller. So let's navigate to slash home slash details by clicking this view button. We see the employee details as expected and now if we take a look at the debug output window, notice we have all the messages that we have logged from the lowest level trace to the highest level 
critical. And that's because if we take a look at appsettings.json for the default category, we have set log level to trace. By setting the log level to trace, we are basically saying we want all the trace level and higher severity messages. So we see everything from trace to critical. On the other hand, in the log output vendor, Notice, we do not see any log messages from the Microsoft category. That's because we have set its log level to warning. So basically, we are saying from the Microsoft category, we only want to see warning level and higher severity messages. But at the moment, from the Microsoft category, we do not have any such messages. And that's the reason we don't see anything logged from this category, Microsoft. If you want to see all the information and higher severity logs from Microsoft, then change the log level here to information. If we do that, we see a lot of information logs from Microsoft namespace. We don't want that to happen. That's why we have set it to warning. Now, let's look at another example. Before that, let's stop debugging. Let's open SQL employee repository class from the models folder. Now, let's inject the iLogger service into this SQL employee repository class as well. Let's bring in the required namespace and specify SQL employee repository class type as the generic argument. Let's call the parameter logger and let's also generate the private field. If we scroll down now, we have this method get employee, which is called every time we view a specific employee details. So inside this method, I'm going to copy the log statements that we have in the details section method of our home controller and then paste those lines right here. And then let's run the project in debug mode. We see the list of employees. At the moment, within the debug output window, we don't see anything logged. Now let's view a specific employee details. Notice now for this category, employee management.controllers.homeController, we have all the log messages from the lowest level trace to the highest level critical. And the same is true even for this other category that we have right here, employee management.models.sql employee repository from the lowest level trace to the highest level critical. This is because in app settings.json, we have set the log level for default category to trace. And the default category is our project namespace. If we take a look at the name of our project, it is employee management. So all the custom classes that we have in our project, like this home controller and SQL employee repository, their namespace start with the default category, which is employee management, as you can see here. And that is the reason for both these classes, home controller and SQL employee repository, we see trace level and higher severity messages up until critical. Now, let's take a look at another example. Here's what we want to do. For the home controller, we don't want trace debug and information logs. We only want warning level and higher severity errors. Whereas for SQL employee repository category, we want all the logs from trace till critical. First, let's stop debugging. For this category, employee management.controllers.homeController, we want trace level and higher. So let's copy the category name and then paste it within app settings.json. I'm going to leave the default category there, but then override the setting for this category. So for this category, we only want warning and higher severity errors. So I'm going to set log level to warning. Let's do the same thing for the other category. First, copy the category name, paste it within app settings.json, and then change the log level to trace. Run the project, and let's see the log output that we get. View one of the employee details, and if we take a look at the log output, notice from the home controller category, we only have warning level and higher severity errors. Whereas from the SQL employee repository category, we have all the log messages from the lowest level trace to the highest level critical. At the moment, with the configuration that we have here, we are only filtering logs 
by the log category. We can also filter logs by logging provider. What's a logging provider? A logging provider is a component that physically stores or displays logs. For example, console logging provider displays logs on the console window. Similarly, debug logging provider displays logs in the debug output window in Visual Studio as you can see right here. Now let's take a look at an example of where we can filter both by category as you can see right here and by logging provider as well. So let's make a copy of this log level configuration that we have and then change the bits that are required. We want this log level configuration to be specific for the debug logging provider. For that, what I'm going to do is include the logging provider name here, which is debug. Another value for this is this entire log level object. So let's wrap it in another pair of curly braces. With this configuration, we're basically saying for the debug logging provider, use this log level configuration. Whereas for the rest of the logging providers, that is for example, console logging provider, event source, event log, even for that matter, third party logging providers like nlog use this log level configuration. So with all these changes in place, first let's stop debugging. Before we run the project again, for the debug logging provider, let's set all these categories to warning. And for the other logging providers, let's set all the categories to trace. Let's run the project and see the output we get. Now, if we take a look at the debug output window in Visual Studio, notice for these two categories, Home Controller and SQL Employer Repository, we only have warning level and higher severity logs. That's because we said for the debug logging provider, we only want warning and higher severity logs for these two categories. Whereas, if we look at the log level configuration for the rest of the logging providers, for example, for the console logging provider, for these two logging categories, we want trace and higher severity logs. So let's run this same project from the command line and see the log output that we get. Before we run this project, let's set the Microsoft category log level to warning. Otherwise, we are going to see lot of info logs from the Microsoft namespace on the command line and it would be extremely difficult to see the log messages that are coming from these two categories. So with this change in place, let's run the project from the command line using .NET run command. There we go. We have our project up and running at this URL, localhost colon 5000. But I still see info log coming from the Microsoft namespace. Let's understand why is this happening. If you recollect from our previous videos in this series, the configuration in appsettings.json can be overridden by the configuration in environment specific appsettings.json file. At the moment, we are running this project from the command line. When we run the project from the command line, it uses this profile that we have in launch settings.json file. And within this profile, we have set ASP.NET Core environment variable to development. So at the moment, we are running this project in the development environment. So ASP.NET Core, in addition to looking at the configuration in app settings.json, it is also going to look in the environment specific app settings.json. In this case, it looks for app settings.development.json because we are running the project in the development environment. So if we take a look at this app settings.development.json file, Notice for the Microsoft category, log level is set to information and that's the reason we see the info log from the Microsoft category. Let's stop the project, change the log level to warning, save changes and then run the project again from the command line. Notice now we don't see the info log from the Microsoft category. Our project is up and running at localhost 5000. So let's navigate to localhost 5000. There we go. We see the list of employees 
and on the console window, we still do not see any info logs from the Microsoft category, which is good. Now let's navigate to view a specific employee details. At this point, notice from the home controller category, we have all the log messages from the lowest level trace to the highest level critical. And the same is true even for the SQL employee repository category from the lowest level trace to the highest level critical, we have all the log messages. In ASP.NET Core, logs can be filtered by log category, logging provider, or even both. Here is that same example which we just looked at in action. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.